Hi, everybody. I'm Samantha Basito Drucker, author of 90 Days to Husband Number Two. And I'm with my friend here, Sharon Polsky from Unleashed Fitness for Women. Hi, Sharon. Hi, guys. Hi, Sam. Hi. And tonight, we're going to, today, depending on where you are, we're going to talk to you about time management. People often talk about managing your finances. Nobody often talks about really managing your time. And Sharon happens to be an expert. And I have to say, I'm not so bad myself, but I'm going to let Sharon lead tonight's discussion. And I'm going to throw in a few hacks of my own. Take it away, Sharon. Perfect. So I think of time as being just as important as our economics or our finances. And in some ways, um, time is money. So they actually relate quite well. But when we're kids, our parents give us an allowance or we get some little job so we can make money and we learn how to manage money. And that started in me. I don't know about you, Sam, but when I was nine years old, my dad had me learning how to manage money. I was balancing a checkbook by the time I was 16. I wrote my first budget when I was 18 years old on my way to college and the rest is history. I know how to manage my finances, but I find it fascinating that nobody ever teaches us how to manage our time. Like I know back in the old days, they used to tell us to have a to-do list or there's all these great scheduling books, but nobody uh, actually teaches just, you how to use them. Can I just say I'm old school? Me like, too. yes, I have everything on my computer, but I still roll like this. And this is just a notebook with a fancy leather cover. So it's pretty, but here are my hacks for this evening. I think about the four biggest areas of my life and I categorize them. This is like health, cleanliness, domestic chores, grocery shopping, exercise, cooking, things like this. Red is an appointment because it's right now and you can't miss it. And then like pink is like social media and posting and whatever. And then like purple is like work work. That's like work, work. And like blue things are things that I do with my husband. And, and, and I wanted to show you the little fitness tracker that you have for our program. So I printed them out and I cut out one along with, you know, upcoming um, things that are going on about the group. And, and so that is there. And I checked off today, as you can see, and I wanted to show you just a little sneaky peek at what today was like. So this is, this is time management in action. Now, here are the hours of the day starting at seven. Here's my water. I have to check these off. I've got like oh, one or two to water. go. I race against the clock to drink the water. And then I move the to-do items, my to-do list over here. And you see it's color-coded by category. And I move it over here as I go across. Now, somewhere over here, life got crazy. And somehow I managed to do all of this to write it down. Sometimes it's like that. But my God, this helps. And I plan this out 10 minutes before when my I have my morning routine you talk about. I have my evening routine where I plan out what is happening the next day. Yeah, and that's a great way to do it. So we all were taught as kids to do a to-do list or write down what needs to get done. And some of us use our phones to do that. I don't believe in phones. I believe in using pen to paper. But just like you said, I want people to start making what's called a time budget. And a time budget is exactly the same as your financial budget. And we start with 24 hours in a day. And we know from last week's conversation that sleep is super important. So we are going to take eight hours mm. of those 24 hours and write sleep. Delicious. And then we're going to start building our day around that. It's delicious. 
And the greatest thing is sleep is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And by the way, it's very satisfying. Sleep is one of those things that feels good and doesn't cost you anything. So we're gonna take eight hours out of that. And then it takes us about 30 minutes, four times a day to eat. And we're gonna write in the four times throughout our day we're going to eat. And that's gonna be on that time budget as well. And so we're already at 25 out of our 24 hours, we've used nine of those hours. Maybe you have to go to work, maybe you have a morning ritual and things like that, but you're gonna write in, I'm gonna work from eight to four. I'm gonna take my kids to a doctor's appointment. I'm gonna get my hair done. You're gonna put those into your time budget every single day. Now, does it mean that you're gonna get everything done on your to-do list? No, but what it does show you when you start creating a time budget is that old saying, oh, Sharon, I am so busy. I don't have time to eat four times a day. I don't have time to sleep eight hours a day. You most definitely do. When you start creating that 24 hour time budget and you write out every single hour of the day on a piece of paper, you realize you have so much more time in your day than you realize. And it's one of the best exercises I do. I do it with all of my clients because every single client that comes to me says, Sharon, I don't have time for four meals a day. I don't have time to sleep eight hours a day. And then they do the time budget and the very next day they go, I didn't realize how much extra time I actually have in my day. So that's my suggestion. It's my great hack. And I suggest people use pen to paper because that visualization is really important, but it's a time budget. Just like you would make a financial budget for your life, uh, just like you would make a grocery list before you go to the grocery store. And we're gonna talk about that next week. And you're gonna do a time budget. I love it, Sharon. Thank you for those tips. I'm gonna try in, I'm gonna try mixing in when I eat and see what that does. I'm already loving the eight hours of sleep a night. Wow, delish, love it. Thank you. See you soon. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for having me. And I will see you guys all in our group, 90 Days to Diva, where you can get one workout every day in with me. And we're going to give you these tips and tricks. And we also post these videos there for you to refer to. And our fitness tracker is there as well. Have a great day. Good night.